M0FXB welcome to my channel and if you like and find the videos helpful please subscribe to my channels and hit the like button for notifications 73 all the best FXB so I get a lot of stations ask me about DR mode so it it is confusing DR mode because we're all used to traditional mode which is VFO and memory so let me just get it into VFO and memory so see here it says DR now you'll have this on most D-Star radios now to have your DR mode. Hold down the DR. And let's, it's gone straight to my memory channel. These are memory channels. Okay. Now let me just show you VFO mode. VFO. This is the bit we're used to. VFO mode. Program it. Add your shift. Add your repeater. And then or we put it in a memory. And we do that. TB3WR. But that isn't DR mode. DR mode is has been well i'll just say it's been created by um icom and dstar to sort of package each connection into almost like it um almost like a memory channel but but packaged in a different way so if we hold down dr mode we're now in dr mode so this is the confusing bit at the bottom it says from but what from really means is what you're using so right now this is on my open spot which i've pre-programmed into the DR memory. So what does DR memory look like? So if we go, really the best way to look at DR memory is, for, is really to um, come out of DR mode. So hold down, come out of DR mode. Then go into your memory and look for the memory section. See that memory? Memory channels or repeater list is probably the better one. And look, they're into groups. And then let's choose one, there's the open spot. And if you look, all it really is, is the name, the frequency, always a zero offset, plus or minus, with a, with a, DR, with a D star channel. So it's still a memory, but it's sort of laid out in a different way. Let's go back. So we go back into DR mode. So the, just remember that the bottom section is either the hotspot or the repeater that you're using. So that is your link to D star. Without the bottom selected, uh, you're not going to talk to anyone. When you go through and you've got these pre-made um, sort of code plugs, if you want to call them, you'll have all these frequencies of the from section all around the country that so were in UK with their frequency. And if you were to say you were in Belfast here, you know, if you were in Belfast and you had these frequencies and you were near GB7RK, you would, this would work. But most of the time we're at home. So we're either going to need our repeater really near us, so we're going to need to select a repeater near us, which you might have to add in your memory, or our, say our jumbo hotspot here, for example, is Pi Star hotspot. Then the, so the top section is, is, um, is basically to connect you to a reflector, yeah? So it says here, use reflector. Now, when you're talking, you always have to be in use reflector. But when you're connecting, you can push it. Let's do that again. So push the middle button here. Use reflector. Go to reflector. Now, there's lots of other selections, but go to reflector. And look, you can use it. You can link to it. Unlink. Echo test. And then the repeater information means it just tells you what you're doing. So if we wanted to use, say we wanted to link to reflector one, we just go select the two, remember the two section, reflector, select it, then link to reflector. And then we can either direct input it, which means basically type it in like so. Go back. Or we can select an old one. The thing that's slightly different with these more newer radios is you can connect to DCS, XRF, and XLX reflectors. Now, the thing that makes it even more confusing um, is that the if you want to connect to an XLX and that, you have to put that in the top section, and it's actually called your core sign, which um, is a bit annoying. But anyway, if you go to use here, and then go your core sign, You've got old ones there that we've created, or you can, uh, you can, uh, let's have a look. See them all here? They could all be pre-programmed as well. The main thing is, that your core sign is another way of connecting. It's not, well, it might be a reflector, but it's not classed as a reflector. It's classed as, a, as an XLX, DCS, or XRF type reflector. And then to do that, you have to select it in your core sign, and look, say we connected that one, look. So now if we're still connected to our hotspot here at the bottom. There's our hotspot. 
or repeater. That's important because that's what gets us connected to the world. Um, but at the top, or even you're choosing an XLX, or most of us will just go to a reflector. So you just select it, reflector, uh, link to a reflector, like one Charlie. When we're connected, then you push the middle, go back to reflector and go use reflector. I know it's really confusing, um, but once you get your head around it, it works really well. Um, and it's, it's, it's basically the modern way of D-Star radios. So I'm not sure if this will help, but um, might make, make it more confusing, but give you an idea about what DR mode actually is. 7.3, all the best.